Okay, the mission today is to build a um, structure around strawberry patch for a client out here. We got the uh, two by fours, four by fours, ready mixed concrete, and they come on over. This is kind of an old structure they have, but it's definitely uh, depleted. But she wants to be able to walk about three feet from the garage here back, so that it prune these back and then put in uh, four four by fours ready mix them and then uh, boards along the top so the the plants will hopefully can go up through and easy to get around to pick well that's how we'll start and it's going to be extra funds for the trip across Canada in June be sure to follow Okay, we got the uh, six feet out, two feet out from the building. So I didn't want to kill too many of the bushes, of the uh, strawberry bushes. And then six feet to the next post, the last one. Lots of rocks here. going down about a foot so shouldn't be too bad Perfect. And to make sure I got it fairly square, not that it's a big deal on something like this, because it's, you know, it's uh, sometimes uh, it's not perfect. That's good too, because it looks better also. What I'm saying is if you practice perfect, then in the next job, you remember to do it again. So what I usually do is cross, cross measure on something like this fourteen feet aha fourteen feet to center okay so that's gonna be pretty square and about two feet to center from the building. So I'll cut the posts, mix up the ready mix. Okay, we got the four by fours treated, pressure treated. There's 12 feet, but of course, when you buy lumber, it's never what they say it is exactly. So it's 12 foot one, so I'm gonna go six feet, one, half an inch. Square it off. I already marked it. Doesn't have to be a perfect cut because this bottom piece is going in the ground. But should try and make it close, right? I'll also mark this other one while I while I'm at it. Plugs, safety glasses. And that's how you do it. Put the post in, 
get it fairly level. And we got them all at about five foot one inch from the ground. Yeah, this one can go down a bit more. There we go. Tap it. Do a little backfill. And tap the piss out of it. Like back on the farm. And eyeball her so she's square. And square to the other one. Because the two by fours have to go on. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but should aim for aim to, to do it well, right? And then for most people it'll look excellent. For a professional, they'll say, oh, it's off half an inch here. Oh, it's not quite level there. But for something like this, it's good. So, so we got all four in, tamped. Now I gotta do the ready mix. The ground is on a slope. So I can't have them all the same height, otherwise one's be way low. Well, if you had the same height, this one would be buried like to four feet. Those would be five feet. So we'll leave her there and then angle the two by fours a bit on the slope and straight across on the, going across. So mix up the ready mix and uh, dump her in. Okay. Commencing on mixing up the concrete ready mix from our friendly home hardware, Grand Forks, BC. I like to uh, put some water in the wheelbarrow first, just so it uh, mixes better and doesn't stick to the bottom so much. Swiss Army. Then we just uh, break her. Where's my shovel? Now the key to this is don't put too much water in. Better to add more as you need it. I'm going to do both bags. We're getting a little drizzle, so I don't want the concrete to be rained on too much. If it does rain, I'll put some tarp around them. I guess around the 4x4s, cover the concrete for a bit. in the water but not enough you can see the how thick it is but uh, needs a little more water yet There we go, good consistency. A little moisture on the edges, but that's fine. That'll suck into the ground right away. So get that loaded in the holes. A little cloudy, a little bit of rain today, but I uh, guess I'll have to cover it up if I have to. Okay, we got her. Got it in. Got her level. Got the string around the center here, a rope, just to hold the bushes in better. As they grow up, they'll grow up on and around. So, uh, all good. Had to splice the 2 by 4s at the top because they're not long enough. But hey, for a strawberry patch, a raspberry, no, strawberry patch, should be good. And a beautiful place to work, anyway. Catch you on the next one.